Well, you can buy just about anything online nowadays, including your medication. And while it can save you money, could also end up costing you more in the end if you're not careful. To talk about this now, Tom Stevens, Better Business Bureau, president of the Better Business Bureau, I should say, joining me this morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Glad to be here. All right, listen, we love shopping online. It's very easy, but that is the number one way scammers are going to get you. Yeah, that's true. Um, especially when you're talking about drugs, uh, you need to watch out for a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Number one is make sure the pharmacy is licensed. Okay, that's the number one thing. If it's Canadian pharmacy, the provinces are in charge of that. If it's a U.S. pharmacy, FDA is in charge of it. So make sure the licensing is good. And you can check that through their databases. Uh, make sure that they require a prescription. Most of the fake ones will not require a prescription. They just say, we'll ship it to you. So if you're able to, likely if you're able to, especially to get Xanax or something on, it's not right. a real right. website. Right. right, exactly. And, um, you know, sometimes they'll... Uh, in most cases, uh, if it's a fake website, the, the drugs are going to be cut, they're going to be out of date, they're not going to be the right thing, they may just be a sugar pill. Mm. Or there may not be anything at all, it may be a, uh, you know organized crime that's just there to get your ID and steal your credit cards and all that good stuff. I mean, is it one of those things, though, especially with prescription drugs, you know, in the last hour I showed Lipitor costs 300 plus dollars. If you're seeing it for a hundred dollars with no insurance. Right. That's the that's one of the red flags. If it's way 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 discounted, uh, it's it's probably a fake. Uh, or if you start getting spam emails that say we can give you this drug for ex for cheaper price, you don't even need a prescription. We'll ship it internationally, etc. Those are all red flags that it's a fake. I mean, how problematic is this? I know the Better Business Bureau does handle this. Um, the, the, the estimates are that of uh, the thousands of online pharmacies, only about three to five percent of them are actually legitimate. The rest of them are fake. Wow, that is a staggering statistic. That's, that's the statistic I read. And, and so what are your biggest takeaways for anybody at, at home who's thinking about doing this? Because actually, I just received an email this morning from someone who watched our segments who said, I got it online, my wife's pills, for years, right. and it was a, Canada, a Canadian pharmacy. Right. Well, a Canadian pharmacy is usually pretty good as long as they're licensed. And again, the provinces are in charge of that, and you can check that licensing with them. Uh, make sure you're dealing with a licensed pharmacy. Make sure they have an address and a phone number on their website, preferably one in the U.S. Make sure they have a pharmacist, pharmacist on staff to answer any questions. Uh, and again, make sure you, they require a prescription. And if you have to pay with a gift card. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not the good thing. That's always the number one we say. Right. If, you, if they ask you to pay with a gift card, right. it is more than they're not going to take your gift card for Lipitor. Right, right. You you can't pay your taxes with with uh, <laughs> Keith Urban to to either. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any last segments? Uh, just one other thing. A lot of uh, the, if it's the, the, the domain will have a dot pharmacy in it if it's a legitimate, really legitimate pharmacy. Check that domain, and if it looks off, if there's some words or letters off, misspelling, it's one of those things, you know, we're talking specifically about drugs, but right. it works for most things. Right, exactly. All right, Tom Stevens with Better Business Bureau. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Vic.